Yeah, so they are 70 by 9. I did like a little setup and guess what? I was sent something. These things are not perfect. Like they are not the same. Oh, I'm gonna treat them like eyebrows. Wait, what? Hi, good morning. So today I woke up. I literally just woke up. I haven't even washed my face. I was trying to check something online, but I'm I'm nervous. Let me tell you why. So yesterday, first of all, the telecommunications network in Ghana are messing with that. Okay, to be fair, it's not their fault. It's our fault. If you're not new, remember my. If you're new, hi, my name is Intrua, and I make videos on personal finance, personal development, and vlogs about my life or how I'm trying to navigate life living alone. Okay, now that we're done with that. <laughs> If you're not new, remember there was a time that I lost my Ghana card, which a Ghana card is basically like an identification card that the government introduced so that pretty much every Ghanaian and non Ghanaian must have in order to live fully, at least in this country. So yeah, mine got missing. I had issues replacing it and then I finally got around to replacing it. But after replacing it, I was supposed to connect the card to my SIM card. Because for some reason, they want everybody's SIM card to be connected to their one identification card. Going to do that step was annoying me because people used to say that the offices were always full, blah, blah, blah. I don't like queues. I felt like I had better use for my time. <laughs> So I never got around to doing it. Tell me why sometime during the week I wake up, ah, I was trying to upload a video. My internet was not working. I was like, what's going on? Do I not have data? I bought data, nothing. So during the day I find that they've disconnected data for everybody who has not done the, who has not completed the registration, AKA who has not done their biometric. How dare you? <laughs> This is not okay. So it took me to their offices yesterday to get my registration done. And the queues there, I'm like, hey people, Ghana people are stubborn like me. Because if you saw the number of people that queue in to get registered, hmm, so if they didn't take away our data privileges, we would never have gotten around to getting the registration. It's a nice strategy, but it's annoying. Like, how dare you? Anyway, after going to their offices, I decided to pass by the mall and check out game because game is closing. I don't know if it's everywhere, but the economy is so bad right now that they are closing up. Well, at least that's what I think. They're closing up their stores in Ghana. So in order for them to close their stores, they have to sell most of their stock, right? Good. So I go to games to go and check out. I mean, the sales have been going on for so long. I wasn't hoping i'd find anything but i still go regardless just see what's going on if i can get a discount on something i really want so i walk into game and one of the first things i see is a sofa a double sofa yes yeah, a double sofa and it's in the color i think it's gray or ash and i'm like wait this sofa it looks solid it doesn't look bad even though gray is kind of like a cooler tone to what i want i want my home to be warm toned i was like yo this is a good deal it was i think 2000 cds i didn't have cash because if i had cash or mom would have bought it instantly <laughs> but i was like this is a good deal should i get it should i get it i come home today i still don't have cash but it's the next day and i can rush to the bank and get money and go get the sofa but I'm also thinking, is this an impulse buy? Would I get, I know for a fact that I would not get a better deal on a sofa because I've been asking for about sofas for months. I moved into this apartment months ago and I've been asking these chickens, cocks, whatever. <laughs> always making an appearance in my video yeah i've been asking for sofas for months and they're always like in the six thousands five thousand seven thousand fourteen thousands ish well maybe the ones i choose but two thousand cities for a sofa is not bad and i've been thinking about it all night long it's currently six o'clock so i have to wait two more hours for the bank to open and i can make the gray or ash or whatever color that is work but 
had other plans for my money. But then, if I don't buy this now, if I do get around to buying a sofa, it would be three times more than this price. So I'm like, oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> I think I'll get the sofa. I think I'll get it. <laughs> yeah, I'll get it. I'm just praying to God that if this sofa is mine, for the Lord in heaven, there were just two left. Please, God, let me go back and meet it. If it's not mine, I'll be a bit sad, but fine. <laughs> so wish me luck. I would see you when I'm. I'll see you at eight when I'm ready to go to the bank, go get my money, and go get the sofa. Yeah, and then we see how it goes. You're welcome to the vlog, and I hope you enjoyed this one. <laughs> we usually don't start the vlog like this, but yeah, that's like my life right now. So welcome and enjoy. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to leave. I wear a t-shirt and some gym leggings. I wanted to wear jeans. Now my gym leggings are way more comfortable. And I'm going to be doing a lot of lifting and hopefully I get some help. I'm really hoping I get some help to move the furniture, the sofa around. Yeah, but just in case I don't get help, I am going prepared. It's going to be 10 minutes to 8. My bank is about 10 minutes from home. I am serious about this so far, so I'm doing everything I can. So if I don't get it, I know that it's God's plan that I don't get it. So my Uber will be here in, he says, the app said, says three minutes. So, so yeah, I'm going to the bank. If I get it, you see it. If I don't get it, you'll see my face. But whatever happens, I just believe that every single thing is happening for my good. We'll see. I got to the bank on time right when they were opening and I still managed to leave hours later. I know it's going on with banks, but they have to do something about their customers and how long it takes to solve one tiny issue because I had to get to game and these people are wasting my freaking time. Why are you acting like a fool? Um, walking around you where it's cool. Uh, please tell me how you stay so cool. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. So why are you acting like a fool? Uh, trying my best to get you up. Uh, sometimes I feel that you're just cruel. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Could you give me a sign or maybe write me a letter? I just wanna get closer to feel the heat of your sweater, but why? So guess who has a couch now? I secured the couch. I'm so happy. When I got there, the last, I, I remember I said, what am I summering? I said that yesterday when I went there, there were two left. When I went there this morning, there was just one left. And the moment I walked in, I sat and I was like, I'm not moving until I make payment. And this thing, I know it's mine for sure. <laughs> so yes, I did, I got it. When I was sitting on this thing, there were like five people who wanted it. I'm like, I've paid, it's mine. Sorry. This is what it looks like. There's still a lot of rubbish going on in my living room because as you may know, as you may or may not know, my living room has been in shambles since I moved into this apartment. But this is what it looks like. It doubles as a bed-ish so I can like pull this part out and then it will stretch out and become a bed. So I, I really like it. I really, 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 I love it. Oh my gosh. I don't love the color, like I said gray is not really my thing but i think i can make it work yeah i can now nah, i can make it work <laughs> i have a sofa i have a sofa Whew, i'm sweating yeah i know i'll be sweating that's why i wore a regular t-shirt anyway let me talk to you about the experience so far <laughs> it's just not that big of a deal to be honest when I was coming back, I was so hungry because I left at 8, right? It's it's currently 1 o'clock because I'll tell you about it. But yeah, I was so hungry and I've run out of gas for my apartment. I'm going to rest a bit. Maybe I'll go out at like 3 o'clock to get some gas so I can finally cook. But I stopped by the roadside for some yam. So I got can you see? So I got some fried yam, fish, and two sausages. I am so hungry. I know that there are a few non Ghanaians who watch, who have started watching my channel. So this is like a street food. Yeah, you usually have like people 
with tiny glass boxes that sell delicacies delicacies like this so fried yam sausage and fish and then they usually sell it with some fresh pepper sauce or some shuttle so that's what i'm having for my first meal for today because i'm hungry so the initial price for the sofa was let me put the food down and talk to you was i think four thousand i was like when i was looking for sofas i never saw one that was that low fourth out of i mean thank god i didn't find it but was 4,000 CDs. Every time I saw it so far, it was like 6,000, 8,000. And the really, really nice one that I saw some time ago was in my It vlog. looked really luxe. That one was in the 10, 12,000. So it was going for 50% off, which was 2,000. And guess what? Guess what? I got an extra, a little bit of an extra discount. <laughs> I literally just talked about my living room being in shambles in my previous video where I talked about my experience living alone and renting for nine months, regrets, lessons, and how I'm saving for year number two. And look how good. Just give me a beautiful, beautiful sofa. But that doubles as a bed. That's really nice. Anyway, I'm going to eat now. It's very sunny outside. I have some errands to run. So I'll eat and then maybe rest for a bit while the sun goes down. Because right now it's like peak is up there. Then when it goes down, I would um, go get my gas and then do other stuff. I have two videos to film today. We'll, you know, we'll see how it goes. Hold on. A bite for you. Oops. There you go. <laughs> mm. So let me show you what my my well, let me show you what my living room, my plan for my living room is. That little part looks like that because it stretches out into a bed. I'll show you very soon. But yeah, let's not talk about that. And yeah, those are pendant lights that I'm going to be using as pendant lights for my bed. Remember the one I had? Yeah, I'll talk, I'll talk, I'll talk about it very soon. So we would install this very soon. But so my this is how my living room is. I have this portion over here, right? And then I have the portion behind the sofa. Wow, it's looking very, very, very chaotic. So it don't look too much. So my sofa is gonna be here, obviously. It would move back a bit. But let me tell you what goes behind the sofa. Right now, it's just my lights. My lighting equipment. I'll sleep in that side, this room is here, so ignore it. So right here, on that wall, I'm going to have a shelving unit for storage and yeah because i don't i don't want i don't know how to explain it i don't like um what is it called <laughs> how do i explain this thing i don't like clutter so i want a shelving unit that would hide these lights and then can carry other stuff like books and stuff like that so that will serve as decorative purposes and then it also serve as storage because i don't want too many things laying around so there'll be like a shelving in here from the top to the bottom like up top to ceiling what am i saying ground to ceiling kind of shelving in it and in the shelving in it i'd have a sitting area for a desk so shelves here shelves here desk in the center and then my chair can just go into the under the desk when i'm not using it so that there's enough room to move around right that's my like when i thought of how to make use of this place that's my best bet then we'd come to this portion which is like the living area so this would be like the home office area right and this will be the living area. So over here, this will move back a bit. So it will create a little bit more space than you can see right now. And I'll have a tiny table, coffee table here. So that there can be some storage. But remember that there'll be a little bit more space than there is right now. And then I would mount, if I ever get around to getting a TV. Um, I should get a TV. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I really wouldn't mind having a TV. So there'll be a TV up here right and maybe 
a console for the TV somewhere. It'll definitely not be on the floor because if on the floor, there's too much going on. But so it'll be like elevated so that we can have space to move around. I'm thinking of putting a big mirror either here or, you know, make use of this wall one way or the other. And then of course there'll be the additions, the plants and all of that. But that's like my vision for my living room. Right now, I want to rest a bit. I wanted to cut my hair because I thought I was going to film. I didn't film, but I still think like, I don't mind filming later in the night. So there's a high chance that when I come back from the gym, I would take a shower, rest, and film throughout the night. And then tomorrow morning, I would do other stuff. As for these lights, we would install them tomorrow. I'm not in the mood. Today, I'm not in the mood at all. Next day. This morning, my mood is a bit some type of way. I'm not sure how to describe it. But I'm in this phase. It's not even a phase, but I just want to be left alone kind of thing, which is not a problem at this point because I live alone, so nobody's disturbing me in any way. But yeah, I just wanted to I just wanted to go through the day with very minimal interaction, do the chores I need to do everything that needs to get done and then i don't know just enjoy my saturday so i did some chores fried the chicken that i cooked the previous day And I put that into the fridge so that when I'm hungry, I can always have some proteins to fall on. But for a part-time YouTuber myself, I can't just take the entire day off, especially when I have content to create. So, so I have to find a way to make it work. So it's a Saturday. So when I woke up, I was not in the mood to speak. I was... My airport just literally flew away. Yeah, I was not in the mood to talk or anything. I just wanted to be left alone. And then on top of that, I had a number of chores to do. Like you saw me. Well, you didn't see me do my chores, but I've done a little bit of chores and all of that around the house. And then I had an assignment to submit as well. So today has been, the, this morning has been quite busy. It just, yeah, so it's now 12 o'clock. And um, while I was completing the assignment that I had, I remember that I remember yesterday was it yesterday yeah yesterday I showed you the lamps and I said we we're gonna get into it we'll get into it soon but I kind of 
put them up just to see if i like the vibe i'll talk you through that and then i was like i've been stalling on getting these canvases that if you're not new to a channel i've mentioned that i want something to go above my bed so that i can have some art in my room and that wall is too blank if i look tired sorry i am tired but yeah let me bring up the energy because we need this energy <laughs> so yeah i one time i was walking what was i what was i someone sent me a dm that i mentioned that i want to canvas this in my video and she saw that this place on instagram they're called creative i can't find the receipt but yeah they're called creative creation so she sent me a dm and i was like oh thank you so much but i never followed up i just saved their page and then the other day when i was going to work i saw two young ladies <laughs> young ladies with like they're holding canvases i was like wait let me ask these girls where they got it from so i asked them and they're like oh we got it from creative creations that i sell them down i was like fine 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 cool because it was the same place the girl told me about the girl dm'd me about if you are her i forgot your name thank you very much you're very helpful so i went to follow up and today since i was not in the mood to talk i, I decided that i'll just get these canvases and maybe get creative and maybe that would help with my mood you know so i call and just i got two of them i wasn't sure the size i wanted for like above my bed so i measured and she said um these particular ones are 70 by 90 yeah so they are 70 by 90 i didn't think they would be this big to be honest that's why i got two so now we have to figure out if both will fit because in my mind i thought they would just fit above my bed but like side by side like this right but now that i'm looking at them i think they'll be too big but i don't know we'll see we'll see if it works if i need one that'll be nice i'd have another place for this for like a massive piece of art and that'll be nice and to think that i actually wanted something bigger <laughs> that's crazy anyway i've got them open your ears and listen because sometimes i'll put their details in a video and someone wants to ask me a question so open your ears and listen i got these canvases <laughs> from creative creations the creative is a k they are located at a salon down they have an instagram account which i think does not work because i sent them a dm they didn't respond so maybe it's just there and they stop checking on it regularly but when you google creative creations creative is with a k <laughs> By the way, this is not paid. They didn't pay me. I bought this for my money. The service was good. So I was like, yeah, just in case you're also looking for canvases like myself. They also sell other art supplies. So yeah, you could go check. They have to sell them down. If you Google Creative Creations, you see their number. You can call and make inquiries. Don't ask me questions. I don't have the answers. Call them with your questions and they would answer you. The lady that I, was, that I spoke to from the um after i made payment apparently she knew my youtube channel and i thought that was really nice so shout out to her i didn't get her name but yeah i got my converses from creative creations if i see a comment asking me where i got it from i'll find you and i'll whoop your ass okay let's let's go do other stuff i want to wash my hair because first of all i was supposed to go for the youtube creators event which is today it started at nine o'clock in the morning it's currently 12 o'clock but i had a lot of things to do like i said and i do want to leave them and then tomorrow i'll be running around trying to get things done that would not be the best use of my time right now so yeah i'm gonna wash my hair i think they've already started the program and i'm just in this mood where i want to be left alone which doesn't entirely help if you have to be among people right i have two videos i need to film yesterday i got back from getting this couch <laughs> and all the up and down very tired and all of that so i couldn't film my videos but today i have to film the videos i'm trying to i mean I, i've got a couch now so i want to see if i can set it up have like a nice background and film the videos you know give it like a new scene whatever yeah so i'll try it out so i'll go wash my hair while it's drying i'll come and try to set up and film my videos and if i finish on time i would go for the youtube creator event so basically let me explain because i just automatically assume that you know what the youtube creator festival is but basically um youtube creative festival is this um festival that brings Ghanaian, african i guess 
YouTubers together for a festival-ish kind of thing. And today is the last day. Yeah, today is like the last day or the main event. So I guess you come together, you learn some stuff from bigger creators, smaller creators, you know, network, all of that. And that's what it's so yeah that's what i was supposed to go for so i'm gonna do all these things and then try to see if i can make it but i'm excited for these canvases i still don't know what art is gonna go on top i will show you the things the options i'm looking at and we can decide yeah but if i lay down and i play dead and i stay dead maybe you'll get sick of being the monster So she's back. I'm in a better mood. I'm in a better. What am I saying? I'm in a better mood now. Ha! I've been singing and dancing, trying to get my spirit up, and I think it works. And I washed my hair just in case you do not know. I mean, just in case it's not obvious. <laughs> I washed my hair now, and I feel clean. Wash my hair. I've taken my bath. I did like a little setup. You, if you don't know, do, do you see? <laughs> In this life, be creative and be able to improvise and make things work. It will always save you a lot of time and resources. If you don't recognize what I did here, um, sorry, but you know, if you know, you know. I've kind of done like a little setup for this video. I think it looks good. It looks clean. Hopefully it looks clean enough. I don't like the, you see this part? It has the shadowy thing going on. I'm not fun. So I have to find um, some lights that can light up this part, like my background, because I'm not a fan of whatever is going on over here. But that aside, I love the look and all of that stuff. So um, if you do stick around to the channel, you see how the setup for the two videos I'm about to film today will look like. Spoiler alert, I'm filming a video on how I film and edit my video, so I'll be sharing my techniques, my secret, and all of that stuff. So if you haven't subscribed and you've always wondered how I edit, how I film, what I do to make you watch these videos, I promise it's not voodoo. <laughs> you want to subscribe now so that when I do upload it, you don't miss it. Anyway, I sat down and I was about to do my makeup. Let me bring you closer. And I don't know how some of you see my, my skin on camera. I mean, I have good skin which has a lot of freckles, which is cute. But the way some of you ask skin routine, skincare routine, it's like I don't have any flaw, flaws on my skin, which is like wrong. I do have, um, okay, I wear my sunscreen religiously, so I barely have dark patches. The only dark patches I have are like around my lip, which I think is normal for most people of color. So here, right here. And then when I, why is my kitchen door always creaking? And then sometimes when I have a spot or when I have like a little pimple and I mess with it, it leaves a mark which eventually fades away. So yeah, aside these dark patches, my skin is pretty fine. But occasionally I have break a tiny rashes breakout. Skin experts, please let me know. But I have like tiny rashes on my forehead and I don't know if that is as a result of heat or i don't know what causes it but it comes occasionally and then eventually it goes away so i sat down and i was about to do my makeup for the two videos i'm about to film and i was like damn these rashes are back again which is annoying and just as i was complaining about what was going on in my head i got a call and guess what i was saying something so talk about good timing look at look at that as you can see skin love so i'm excited to see what's in it i'm not being paid for this let's just put it out there little fyi but they did send them to me so let me show you what so the first item is this toner focus focus okay right there it is this i really like the black bottle there's something about black packaging that is really cute i like it so this is a toner that you're supposed to use every night on your face and on your neck that's the first item they sent me the set oh don't break go the second, ooh, I was looking for a scrub. The second item is a scrub, it's a coffee scrub. Do you know what's interesting? Just last two weeks or so, I got 
a Saint Ives, Ives, have I say it, scrub, and I was like trying it out, not for my face or my body, so I'm excited to wait. It's actually a charcoal coffee scrub, never heard of that. This one is a charcoal coffee scrub. They are supposed to use at least two to three times a week. And then the last item is a face serum. Oh, this, this packaging is so cute. This thing is filled to the brim, like, oh, they're very generous. <laughs> so this is the face serum. You're also supposed to use it at night. I guess after you use the toner, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to try all of these out and I'll come back and share my results with you. I don't know which one I'm excited, I'm most excited about. I want to see the face serum, but to be honest, I'm looking forward to using the charcoal coffee scrub. Wait, let me see what it looks like. Cause charcoal coffee scrub, what does it look like? Oh, okay. When you open, it has the seal. Hey. Oh, I like it. It's also not difficult. It's not difficult to open, but look at me suffering. It's actually not my thing. I have nails, so. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh. It was very liquidy on top and I was like how does crab this liquidy but the concentrate or whatever it's called was at the bottom so yeah I guess you have to mix it before you use it Ooh, it feels very different it doesn't feel like your regular scrub you see how mm, this is interesting I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how this will feel I don't mind just oh Mmm. Ooh. Uh, what is what is what's in this thing? Antioxidants, essential oil. I can definitely smell the essential oils. Oh, it smells very rich. Like wow. Okay. Let me not get carried away. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I would wash this thing off. Oh, it feels really nice. Wait, did I scrub my face this morning? Let's act like I did not, okay? I would use this at the right time. I'll just wash this off so that I'm not harming my skin, like, you know, being overly harsh. And guess how much all of these are going for? 120 CD. If you buy skincare, you know that skincare can be very expensive. It's annoying. Sunscreen is in there. 200, 300. Toner, eye cream, retinoid. By the time you finish buying these things, like, you can feel it in your bank account. But guess what? You can get all these three items, a scrub, a toner, and a serum for just 120 CDs. This kitchen door is pissing me off. Oh, the offer lasts from 26th November till December 31st. After that, you're gonna pay the full price. So don't say I didn't do anything for you. So if you want to try it out, this is their Instagram. I'll leave the Instagram on the screen and you can try it out. This is really nice. So the whole set is a nighttime edition Oh, I get it. Okay, okay. I would show you how I use it soon, but I don't want the sun to set because this is about to film, right? But yeah, check them out on Instagram, get your set, and let me know how you feel about it. Today, if I tell you the wahala, I don't even, I can't even call it wahala, but uh, 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 uh. it took way longer than it should. I intended it to take to film the editing video. First of all, I have a lot of things to share when it comes to editing, but now that video took a lot of time like it was a lot of substance i'm going to try my best to cut that video down to 13 15 minutes i don't want it to be after 20 minutes no that's that'll be too long so that's going to be a challenge oh i look so cute by the way i look freaking cute okay let's take you back so that's that that's done i just finished i don't think i'll be able to film video number two and I finished around what time is it? Do you know when I started? It was still bright outside. It's currently it's currently a few minutes after eight o'clock. So you can imagine 
it's been a long ride i'm happy that i filmed it because at least tomorrow is sunday so i can still like do one video if push comes to shove so that i'll be set for this week otherwise i am done i feel really good <laughs> That I've been able to finish and unfortunately it's almost nine it'll be nine o'clock very soon so I didn't try I didn't try at all because I didn't make it to the YouTube creators festival that's really bad I really wanted to go but my morning really messed it up because there were too many things to do this morning wow, wow wow I think this thing is unwelly so if I'm still I don't know I don't know but yeah it's very sad that I couldn't make it so that's a bit disappointing but I don't know I guess I had to pick my battle and that battle wasn't necessarily for me today anyway as on a more happier note i have not been feeling entirely myself so i'm very happy that i got these canvases because it's about to go down but you know what the problem is the problem is i have so many options I even have a folder on my laptop. Let's check out the one on my laptop. I have so many options for the kind of art I want to go above my bed. So it's going to be a very, very, <laughs> going to be interesting. I don't know which one I'm going to pick. But the long and short of this is, is Bamboo. Bamboo, sponsor me. I make videos on personal finance. <laughs> the long and short of this is that no matter what it is, I want it to be a black and white painting it has to be a black and white painting but let me show you the pictures that i've had saved because i've been saving these pictures for so long and i don't know i really don't know this is i find this one really nice look at it i think it's really nice i mean it's it's basic but if you know you know look at this one this is the kind of art that i want above my bed and then there are some on pinterest as well take a look at this one it's very interesting but it's textured i don't have anything to texture whatever but look this is i think this is also interesting do you get the vibe right i want something interesting minimal that has some amount of black in it because my accent for this apartment is black so that's the kind of vibe i'm going for i think at this point you get the vibe you get exactly what i'm going for do you get I think this is this is so nice. This is so intricate. But who? Who who's going to do this? Uh, 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 this I just find the artist and buy it because what? <laughs> this is so much she is I think it's a she. Let me know. But the artist is so good at what they do. This this is intense. It may not have taken them that long, but when I look at it, all I see is work, 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 work. This afternoon when the canvases came in, I found these two very interesting and very doable. So these are the two that have been on my mind all day and I think they would work very interesting. Whatever happens, that's the kind of vibe I'm going for. So I think I'll spend up to like 10 o'clock trying to paint this thing and you know, make it look cute and all of that. Oh, I didn't show you what it looked like on the wall. Let me show you. Relax. <laughs> last night, no, actually today. Was it last night or today? Today I put these up so these are the ones i got the other one was a bit more square-ish she get so I, that's why the ropes look like this i was trying it out okay and i i still don't love it but i would get the light put the light in and see if i love it that's actually one of the reasons i got the the canvas there's so much brown right now and i don't like i don't like the fact that the brown was too ugh, too much brown i needed to break it apart so that's how i got the canvas so now for the canvases when i bought it this was my idea i thought it was gonna go up like this Ooh, this is massive i like how massive it is so this is what i thought right i thought it would go like they would go up side by side like this do you see how big this is this is what i had in mind but i feel like this will be so massive <laughs> It feels like it's going to be really big. So maybe I would do this. But then I feel like this is not interesting enough. Do you see my dilemma? This is not interesting enough. I'm still going to paint them like this. Whatever happens, if that one is too big, then I will just take one to another part of the 
apartment and that would be fine but this wall is just there it's empty i feel like this look would be cool and that's the kind of vibe i'm going for so yeah let's go let's go paint whatever happens you're gonna see how it turns out i'm gonna spend my evening doing that also can we just <gasps> update let me give you update on the piercing <laughs> after care oh, the rubbing alcohol that i was using okay remember when i got my ears pierced the lady said to get some rubbing alcohol and then drop that into my ear day and night so i've been doing that and anytime i bath i make sure to let a lot of water to use a lot of water to flush out any soap or leather that may have gone into that part of my ear so yeah, i've been doing that but two days ago so this piercing has been i've had it for exactly a week now because i did it last week saturday so i've had it for exactly a week two or three days ago the pain in this ear was intense and i didn't know what was going on and it was so painful so i couldn't even like i couldn't touch the back like i'm doing now right it was really painful so i was actually trying to take out the earring just to ease the pain i couldn't like anytime i tried because of the tension you have to you know um, apply before you take out the earring it was not i couldn't it was unbearable guess what the problem was the problem was how i was sleeping and it clocked when i was going to bed that night so i was going to bed and i realized that i sleep on this ear and there's a lot of rubbing and this ear was free to you know breathe and so i realized that i was causing the problem so that night i cleaned it nicely and my mommy told me to heat up um a towel so i have this face towel and i would just heat it up with my iron not that hot to a point where i burn myself it just warms it up really nicely and then i just pressed it against it and that really soothed the pain so i pressed it for some time and the pain went down and then that night i was conscious on how i slept so i let this one breathe and now we are fine it's fine now i can press it i can play with it it's i don't play with it because infection is not yet healed but i can touch it and the burning sensation is no more there so that's a little update on the piercing someone sorry i forget the name but some sweet lady i believe is a lady also said i should be using cooking oil <laughs> sorry i'm not laughing at you just the fact that it's cooking oil so that it can get rid of the friction but i don't like the idea of smelling like cooking oil so i use olive oil this is the olive oil i use for it's pretty much cooking oil it's just as olive oil this is the one i use for cooking and so i just use that instead of like regular vegetable or like regular cooking oil and i don't know if it helps but i know that of course it the friction is way less so yeah that's a little update on the piercing i'm waiting for this to heal so that i can get more so get ready because it's gonna be a bad girl season <laughs> No, I'm still a good girl.
the next day. Okay, so it's the next day, it's the next morning. I left all this chaos here because you know, last time I finished this painting, <laughs> it was, I think, well after two o'clock. Not necessarily because it was difficult, but mainly because I couldn't pick. I'm sure I spent about a little over an hour trying to decide what I was going for, but I'm happy with this one. I'm very happy with how this one turned out. Those things were not planned, but during the course of getting it painted and, you know, trying to make it work, that's how it came out. So, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I like this as it is, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how it looks on my wall above my bed. So, let's, let's hang this right now. Where's my command strip? Please, let's be serious in this house, okay? I don't know who I'm talking to. Come on. I think I'm already seeing the vision and I love, I love it. But yeah, I found it. I found the, I call it a command strip or a double-sided tape. So basically, it's, this is it. It's a double-sided tape. So, because I don't want to make any holes in the wall. This, I don't own the apartment and I don't want to have to fix too many things when I'm leaving. Do you get so yeah let's mount this i don't <laughs> living alone is not always fun because if i had somebody here to, like with me i could let them hold it and then i'll gauge to see if i like ignore the light totally ignore the light um we'll fix this after we are done fixing this but i'm saying that if i've had somebody here with me i would know exactly how to place these these things are big oh <laughs> they are the same width as my bed that's crazy yeah almost almost the same so now that i'm here alone i have to keep placing them going back placing them going back so i can know exactly where i want to put them first of all do i like the placement of the bed because once this goes up i can't be moving the bed around yeah, I think I like exactly where the bed is placed. Where's my camera battery? Low? Let me switch out the battery. Hold on. Okay, I've switched out the battery and I want to get a ruler because I want to be as accurate as possible. But you know, I love it. I love this so much. Wait, maybe I should hang the light and be comfortable with the height of the lamp, right? Before I go ahead and hang this. What do you think? Yeah, I think, I feel that's not, I don't think that's a bad idea. So let's do that. Okay, now, I'm not mad at this height. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang this one. Just in case yesterday, it didn't cook. This is the lamp that I've always had for like ever. I've had this for a long time, since I was in my parents' house. I took out this basket and I put it on it just so that it would look cute in my video. Just in case it didn't clock when you saw it. <laughs> yeah. So I'll just go ahead and hang this one too. Come on, come on. Please tell me this is it. Please tell me this is it. I don't even know if I like the lights. I already am indecisive about you, so stop stressing me out. Let me like you. I'm going to leave it at this. I think it should look okay by now. These things are not perfect. Like they are not the same. Oh, I'm gonna treat them like eyebrows. <laughs> cousins. These are our cousins. These are not sisters, but yeah, not friends. I'll just manage for now. Let's hang these. Let's hang these. These are the ones I'm excited to hang. It looks really good. This particular one is killing the vibe. I have to find a way to hang it to make it look cute. But look, this is beautiful. Yes, I'm proud of myself. I am so proud of myself. Can you tell? I mean, I'm talented, so that's not even surprising. This is beautiful. Wow. I like it. I would install these properly, cut off those ends once I get the length right. 
or the height right and you saw the light and we see what it looks like oh i love it oh my god this is cute i'm going to do the whole setting of the lights all of that cutting all these things in the next vlog because this one has been very long so subscribe if you aren't subscribed so you don't miss and you can follow me on my journey to decorated my perfect apartment thank you for watching oh thank you for spending the weekend with me check out this video right here which is also a very interesting vlog otherwise i'll see you in this one ciao Mwah. Thank you.